Hey, what's going on guys? So she says she had a problem with her heater and her lights. So this is what happens whenever I look at something and try to fix it. I chase all the wires down and determine that everything's bad. So this is what you have to do on a Volkswagen Jetta to replace your heater switch and your turn signal switch. I also pulled the dash apart to, to uh, check the blower motor, which is good. But yeah, it's not as bad as it looks. It's bad enough if you never did it before. But it's only, I probably got a half hour into it right now. This is why I don't work at a dealership. So you'd only get flat rate hour for this, probably about two hours max. Which I mean, that's probably what's gonna take me, but how would you like to do this every day? All day, all week? I wouldn't mind it, but it'd be nice if I had a lift, put it up in the air a bit. But it is what it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and rip this thing down and do what I'm doing here. But uh, yeah, what's going on guys? Well, all you guys that have been watching my videos for a while know that every time I buy a trike, I always look for red spray paint on it. I don't know what it is, but every time I buy one, there's red paint on it. So I was looking. Oh, where's it at? Look at that. Red paint. Always on the tires. I kind of get it. They painted the frame red on this. But still, how the hell do you get it? Look, it's on the freaking tires. How do you do that? Come on, people. What the heck's wrong with you guys? Man, drunk Genesee Knights. Yeah, I got that 450 lined up. I'm, I'm working through the garage here. I got everything cleared out. Got the Can-Am done. I didn't do much video of it. I figured hell with it. I've been working, been busy. I just wanted to get it off the lift. Got that 400EX on here, the one that exploded. Took the cylinder out and all that fun stuff. It's like Fukushima meltdown. Well, got the bottom end all cleaned up. Got it all cleaned out. Everything was good, believe it or not. The crank and everything was in spec. No, no kind of play or nothing. Cleaned that bottom end out. It took like two hours. Um, I got a brand new cylinder for it. Standard bore piston. Just uh, just no EM. Well, it's like a eBay special, but eh, they're like 130 bucks. Comes a gasket set. Uh, I had to get the valves ground. And, I lost a pin for the decompressioner, and so I went up to the Honda shop and got a new one. Found the spring. So I'm going to take this back. And I started getting the valves all ground up here. I have to clean the seats out of the head yet. I'm not even sure where the head... I'm not even sure where the head went. I might have to find it. Hmm. It's here somewhere. Anyway, i got to uh, got to cut the seats on the head. Um, boy, I don't know where it went. That's going to make me wonder now. Oh, it's in the parts washer, that's right. Anyway, i got to cut the seats in the head and uh, go ahead and uh, get them valves put on and put new seals in and stuff. Yeah, check this little thing out. <laughs> cut this to the local, local uh, seller here. Old 5 horsepower Briggs on it, man. Fires right up. I think it's from the late 70s, maybe early early 80s. Runs great. Lex was riding all over the place. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Put some doors, upper upper doors on the buggy. Um, these really keep the heat in. It's just starting to get cold at night. Not too bad, but, you know, colder. But uh, that's a genuine factory Yamaha accessory there. I just seen them come out in the catalog and I ordered them up. It was like, I don't know how much it was. 200, 300 bucks maybe? I'm not sure. I don't look the receipt, but uh, they're pretty cool. All you gotta do to open it, it has a little magnet right here. Flips up, but uh, you just unzip it and open the door. That thing runs so hot on the inside that uh, I think it's gonna stay nice and toasty in there in the wintertime, I think. Or it'll stay decent. It's sealed up pretty good. I didn't feel any air coming through except for the... Uh, there's like a vent right here, but I'll just close that up with some Velcro tape or, and something to put over top of it. But, uh, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and Start working on this 400EX here. I need to get this thing out of here, get it sold. Um, I'm gonna break it in, make sure everything's good. But uh, you'll probably see that coming up for sale soon too, if you're local. But uh, yeah, I wanna get to this TRX. I got new valves for it. Um, I gotta pull, well, I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna pull the motor off, but I probably will. The rear end's locked up, needs bearings. I keep walking by this thing, and every time I walk by it, it breaks the plastic more and more, which sucks. 
but I might have to stitch it up or hot weld it or something. Yeah, I got a 450 to work on, got some tight valves in it, and uh, I'm gonna start. I gotta get this 86 tri Z together, it's, it's been forever. Keep talking about it. And I, I got that KX65 tour part, it needs rings. But uh, me and Jude were talking about we're gonna build a mini trike out of it because I have a Takati rear end and stuff yet. He's got 200 X forks, so we've been uh dangling around and we're gonna we're gonna make a pretty cool little build out of that so just stay tuned for that it's gonna be over winter but a couple months the winter's gonna be here so yeah i got some inverts here just waiting to go on the trizy got the custom hub machined and everything else the, the brake adapter and just gotta get there got, I got frame hanging it's just ready to go nerf bars are over there everybody says they're ugly but i got the last set prm made so i know you guys all know that yeah all right, I'm going to go ahead and get this head together and see what we're working with here.